Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the Frightfully Cute class. So this is box number one, box number two, card number one, and card number two. Okay, so I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so this is the first project that we're making. Isn't it cute? And here's the supplies. So we're gonna start with our stamping, which is this little greeting right here. Less tricking, more treating. I'm using Memento ink. These are the dies that we're using and we're going to cut this out using that circle. We're also going to cut this out using the Highland Heather cardstock and then the spider web with the basic black. So I'm going to move all this over and get the die cutting machine. Okay, I have a one, two and a three plate. And now the greeting. So this part's pretty easy. You can use your um, little brush if you'd prefer. This is um, an extra piece that goes on the take your pick tool. It works pretty good too. Okay, so we have our images ready. Now let's make the box. I am going to score this at two and a quarter, five inches, seven and a quarter, and 10 inches. I'm going to turn it on the portrait side and score it at one and a half and three and three quarters. Okay, this does have its very own box template. So this is box number one for our Frightfully Cute class. Okay, so I'm going to fold on all the score lines and burnish with my bone folder. Now let's do some cutting. And I want to explain this. The bottom of your box is going to be the thinner piece. This is the top, okay? I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to trim off this section right there and then angle cut this. And then moving to the left, I'm just going to cut up to the score line and I'm going to trim the middle pieces or the middle piece and then this end piece here. Now we're going to work on the top of the box so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to remove this top piece and then angle cut and then trim to this first score line. Same thing. Now we're not trimming that, so just the bottom, okay? I'm gonna let you look at it so you can see it, okay? Now we're gonna place our adhesive on this strip right here. I'm gonna use tear and tape. Okay. 
remove the backing of the tear and tape. Okay, that makes this the back of my box. That makes this the front, and this is the front bottom. So I'm gonna put my adhesive on the front bottom piece. Okay, I'm gonna remove the backing. And then we're going to close this. You could technically put a piece of tear and tape on the other side as well. Making sure that the it sticks down. So it closes like this. You're just going to squeeze this together ever so slightly. And here's our box. So this is the front. We're going to decorate that. Now let's cut our designer series paper. This is the pattern that we're using. Isn't it so cute? Okay, so we're gonna use the paper trimmer and we're going to make our first cut at two and a half inches. So two and a half. And then um, two inches, okay? So two inches. And you know what, I, I'm trying to figure out how I did this to get this little guy up top. So I'm gonna turn it this direction and I'm gonna cut it at two. This is gonna be the bottom piece. So two and a half by two. The next piece is gonna measure two and a half by one and three quarters. And then we need two pieces that measure two by two. So I'm just gonna save this for a future project and I'm gonna go ahead and take the leftover over here and cut at two inches. And two. And two. So out of your six by six piece, this is your scraps. This is what you're gonna have left over. And these are the pieces that are gonna get added to our box. So we're gonna use liquid glue. This piece here goes up top. This one goes down here. I don't cut the paper for you on the class, um, so that's why I give instructions on how to cut it because you're just going to get your designer series paper. I cut everything else except for the die cutting. I only die cut the pieces that are not in the Frightful Tags dies, which I'll show you those when we get to them, each of the projects. It's not very many. We use mainly uh, the Frightful Tags dies. I think we use Stitch So Sweetly for one of the cards, and then we use the Hippo and Friends dies for one of the projects. Now the way that we keep this closed is a little mini uh, binder clip. These are the half inch binder clips. I did get them on Amazon. I'll make sure to include the link. You get 100 in a box, so they're super affordable. There's that. So we're gonna add the Highland Heather piece first, right in the middle. Uh-oh, I put the glue on the wrong side, but that's okay, because we're gonna be adding the spider web. So there's that. And then a little glue in the middle. And then this is gonna get popped up so I'm using the black Stampin' Dimensionals since it's a Halloween project. And we still carry the black ones, so I always forget. There's that. And then we have to add our embellishment. So our ribbon and the cute stars. 
we'll add the star first. So I'm gonna take one of these, just add it over here on the right side. Okay, so I'm taking two pieces of the gingham ribbon. Uh, preferably, they're about 12 inches. This is a little bit shy, I'm at the end of my roll. I've got more, but anyway, 12 inches, two pieces. We're gonna tie this. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. Tighten that up. And then we're just gonna add it up here at the top with a mini glue dot. So it goes just like that. And then I like to make the ribbon kind of go in opposite directions. See what I mean? Like that. I think that makes it cuter. Okay, so that wraps up project number one. This is the first card we're gonna be making and this is a step fold card. So it sets just like that. Here's the supplies. And the first thing we're gonna do is stamp. So we're gonna stamp the Happy Halloween and we're gonna stamp this spider, okay? I'm using Memento ink. Now, I'm gonna start with the spider. <laughs> you guys can hear Bella walking around in the background. Okay, so actually I'm gonna ink this upside down. Yeah, I think she might be eating paper. Okay, so concentrate. There we go, there's the spider. And then we're gonna stamp Happy Halloween to you. Okay, so my greeting was crooked. Uh, two times, so I'm gonna stamp it on just a piece of scrap paper here, and I'm gonna use my trimmer to trim it down. Um, yeah, I was having a hard time getting it stamped on the little small piece. The class packets will include enough white cardstock that you can do the same thing if you prefer. How does that look? Yeah, and we'll trim it down a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna set our stamped images aside for now, and we're going to get the basic black layer. Uh, we need both of these right here. We're gonna be scoring those. I'm gonna start with this one. I'm gonna score it at a half an inch. One and three quarters three and three quarters, and five inches. Now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna score it at a half an inch and one and three quarters. So now let's cut our designer series paper we're gonna need one piece that measures four inches by three and a half. And so if you look at this card, um, the top piece here, that is, that's the four inch, okay? So that's gonna be your first cut is four inches by three and a half, and then four by one and three, one and three quarters, so. One and three quarters. And then this is your leftover paper here, okay? So we have most of our pieces ready. We still have the die cutting to do, but we'll do that in just a minute. So I'm gonna fold this and burnish with the bone folder. Same thing with this. So this piece of paper right here is gonna get added right there. So I'm gonna turn this over and add some liquid glue.
There you go. Now this piece is going to get added, if you watch this, so you want to be able to mail this card. So this gets added like that. See? It's going to look like that. So I'm just going to put my liquid glue on this strip right here. And actually, instead of using a wet adhesive, I'll just use my um, stamp and seal plus. Okay, there's that part. Then this is going to get added to the front right there. So I'll use my liquid glue again. Flatten that real quick so I can add it. Okay, now, now this one's going to get added down here and then it's going to fit just like that, okay? So I'm going to start with this piece here. I'm just going to add liquid glue down there. And if you look, I have it up about a half an inch from the bottom, but also in the center. So about half an inch, give or take. And I want to make sure it's centered. That looks pretty good, right? <laughs> it doesn't look straight, but it's okay. Whoever gets it will still love it, right? And then this one's going to get added. And I'm just going to fold that under so that it gets ex added exactly where I want it. Okay, so there it is. See? Not too difficult. And it folds perfectly just like that to go in your envelope. Okay? Now the little spider that's going to go in the middle. We need to flag the ends of this strip here. So you can use the banners. Uh, you can use whatever you use to flag the end of your cardstock. So I'm going to use this punch, but you don't have to. You can definitely use something, something else. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the greeting and then I'm going to trim this some more. So I'm going to take my scissors and trim to the left and to the right of the greeting. It's not really straight, but that's okay. It's Halloween projects. They don't have to be straight, right? Okay, so I'm going to add this right in there. That's a little too much glue. Okay. And that's going to go on here like that. So I'm just going to trim off just a little bit. Well, that's more than a little, isn't it? That's going to look good right there. And the liquid glue dries clear, so I did get a little extra on there. So I'm just going to turn it over, add the liquid glue. Okay, hold that there for a second. And then we need to cut out the spider web. So I'm going to move everything over and get the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, so here's our black card stock. Here's our die. This is the brush attachment for the take your pick tool. 
So we're going to add this here just using some liquid glue right in the middle. we have ribbon and embellishments to add now. So this time I used uh, two different color of two different colors of the stars. So I used the two little black ones over there and then the little shimmery one. Um, oh, I'm out of little blacks. That's okay. We can add the big ones. It'll be fine. There's plenty of room, right? In fact, they might actually look better. And then the iridescent one here. And now we just have the ribbon to add. I love this ribbon. I wish we had it in more colors. Like every color. Although it is a little busy for some projects, so I say that, but it would it does not go with everything. Okay, so then we're gonna add it right there and we're just gonna use a glue dot. And maybe trim the ribbon just a little bit so it doesn't cover up the spider. Okay, so again, like that. Okay, so that wraps up card number one. And don't forget, it could be table decoration if you'd prefer. Okay. Okay, so now we're making this card. And we're going to start with the stamping. So we're going to stamp the greeting on this layer and the little potions on this layer. Memento ink. Let me move this over here. There we go. And then we want to make sure that we stamp this in the center. It might be off slightly. I um, might have to stick my head in the camera to get it straight. Not too bad. Now let's do some die cutting. So we're going to cut out the witch's hat and then the spider web using this piece here. Oh, and this one. I have plates one, two, and three. And we're going to start with the greeting. Okay, so I'm going to try to do two of these at once. Now we're going to cut out the witch's hat. Okay, I'm going to take the brush from the take your pick tool to get those little pieces out. I think this might be the first time that's stuck to it. If you don't clean the die out, sometimes it will stick. Okay, so now that we're done uh, stamping and die cutting, let's cut out our designer series paper. These sheets do come in six by six sheets, okay? So we're gonna cut this to measure uh, four by five and a quarter. So four by five and a quarter. Now let's score our card base. We're going to score it 
at four and a quarter. So we're going to fold that over. Here's our card front. We're going to add our uh, basic white cardstock right inside. I'm just going to use my liquid glue. Okay, there's that. Then we're going to add this one. So, same thing. This layer is going to get attached to the basic black layer. Same thing with liquid glue. It's going to go on the card front just like that. So you can raise this layer up if you want. I chose not to. We're going to pop up the, uh, the greeting and the witch's hat. And then the ribbon is also popped up a little bit, so that's why. Okay, so we're going to add the greeting right in the middle with our black Stampin' Dimensionals. And then we're going to add it right. Now, here's the piece of advice. Um, maybe add your spider web first so that it doesn't touch your bottles okay so that's kind of where i want it so i'm going to use my liquid glue and add this first that way we don't have a crooked greeting see if you do it like this these ends of the spider web could touch your bottles so whoops We'll put a fresh dimensional on here. No one will ever know that we did that, right? That goes right in the center. Then we're going to use the mini dimensionals for the witch's hat. So I'm going to place it up here at the top. And now we're ready for our embellishments and our ribbon. So I'm just going to take the black gingham ribbon and tie a bow. Well, I messed up. pretty good and we're going to add it with a mini glue dot I should have checked to see if it will fit let's make it just a little bit smaller So this time I'm using the uh, black ones, except it looks like I'm running low. So I'll put two small and then one large one over on the side over there. Okay, so that wraps up this one. Okay, so now we're ready for box number two. And I have two versions, actually three. Uh, this one, the stripes are going vertically. This one is horizontal. And then this is just using basic white cardstock. So you have your choice. Um, it will hold, let me open this up, some snack size candy bars. We're gonna start with stamping. Get all the supplies out, there we go. So we're gonna take this basic white piece here 
and we're just going to stamp the moon and happy Halloween. I'm using Memento ink and Daffodil Delight. Now for the greeting, it includes Happy Halloween to you. So I'm gonna use a post-it note to cover up the to you so that I'm just gonna stamp Happy Halloween. But let's start with the moon. <laughs> I've got myself a post-it note here. I'm only going to use half of it. Just the sticky part. Okay. So I'm going to ink this up. Remove the post-it note. And then stamp. I'm going to use my small paper trimmer to trim this down. Uh, you can use your whatever trimmer you have. And if you're if if you have a hard time trimming it, you can always use a post-it note to hold it in place so that you can cut it, okay? And now I'm just going to use my scissors to cut the right side. The left side I'm going to leave a little bit longer because we're going to slide it under the ribbon, okay? So there's the greeting. We're going to cut the moon out using the Frightful Tag dies that's included in that set. And then we're going to cut out the owl. The witch's hat is going to be used with basic gray. And then the fence also and the tree. Okay. Okay, I'm using tab one, two, and three. Let's start with the moon. And we'll do the witch's hat. Right row. So here's all the pieces we just cut out and now I'm going to take my brush, my take your pick tool brush and just get those little pieces out. This is the paper that we're using for this project but like I said you could use basic white if you want. So we're going to cut this to measure 2 and 3 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. So 2 and 3 eighths by three and seven eighths. So you have lots of extra left over from this one. Okay, so now we're ready to make the box. I'm gonna score this at two and a half, three and a quarter, four inches, six and a half, seven and a quarter and eight and then turn it and score it at one and a half the class PDF does include the template also for this project okay I'm going to fold on the score lines and burnish with my bone folder
Now let's do some cutting. Gonna remove this section right here. Trim, trim, and then cut up to the score line. We skipped that middle one, okay? Cut, cut, and again, we skipped the middle. So we're gonna trim the two tabs. Not too much, don't be too aggressive, okay? Because when you go to close this, if you trim it too much, the, the bottom won't work out, okay? I'm gonna add tear and tape to this strip over here. And I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to remove the backing. That makes this the back of my box, that makes this the front, and this is the bottom. So I'm gonna add my tear and tape down here. Okay, so here it is. Now we're gonna take this piece here, we're going to score it in half, and then we're gonna close it using this. Center it on this piece here. So I'm just gonna place it right on the six and hold it like that, and then you could fold it in half, but I don't think it would look very pretty. The ends would be kind of gnarly. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do is place adhesive on this part here and we're going to attach it to the back of the bag. So I'm just going to use my liquid glue. This stuff works fantastic. It holds really well. But feel free to use your most favorite. Okay, so I'm going to add it. And then I want to make sure that I have it straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold it over like that and just hold it for a second while it dries. That should be good. Now you see why it needs that Velcro. Now you could always tie ribbon around here, but like I said, your class does include uh, one Velcro dot. So, ooh, I hate to cover this up. That would be cute too, but you wouldn't be able to see the fence or the, um, the moon or any of the other elements. So, there's that. For the fence, we're gonna add it down here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the liquid glue and then place it right there. Believe it or not, uh, where you place these things are kind of important because when you go to close your bag, if the moon is too high, then the top of your bag is going to cover it up. Not the end of the world if you do that, but if you want to make it exactly like mine, make sure you add your fence further down. And then we're going to add the tree and it can hang off the edge if you want it to. For the little owl, uh, your packet does include a little piece of Daffodil Delight to put behind his eyes. I'm looking for it. Where did it go? So we're just going to turn the owl over. He's already turned over. And add a little bit of liquid glue. And then add the Daffodil cardstock. Okay. Now, I like to place him on here first. Well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and close this, okay? I'm gonna take the backing off of the first piece and place it right there, squeeze it. And I wanna make sure that this one's on there straight. I can tell that it's not. So we're gonna place it on there like that, squash it, and then remove the backing. and then fold this over. There we go. Then hold it for a second. 
there we go okay so now we're going to add the moon right there and then we're going to add the owl and you also want his hat to make a clearance to not hit the top so you're actually going to move him down a little bit and we're going to add him with a Stampin' Dimensional. I'm using the black dimensionals for the owl and like I said I'm going to place him about the middle part of the fence and then for the hat, I'm going to use the little mini dimensionals and place it right about there. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then we're going to take the greeting and we're going to add it right in the middle. So I'm just going to use some liquid glue, just a little bit, that should be enough. Okay, so we have two steps left. We want to add some embellishments and some ribbon. So I'm going to take the Take Your Pick tool and I'm going to pick up three of these stars I love these stars I think based on the colors you could also use them for other things okay we might move that one in a minute so we'll see depends on where the ribbon lands so I'm going to put these two pieces together. These are um, 12 inches, but you could probably use shorter. I just like to start with longer pieces when I'm filming a video so that I don't mess up. Okay, just trim the ends. We might trim them some more in just a minute. We'll see. And now we're going to use a mini glue dot to add it to the box. <laughs> Pretty cute, right? And I can tell that this side is not quite as eat. Whoops, goodness. And I do want to move this little in this star right here. I want to bring it front row. So I'm going to get another star, a bigger one, and I'm going to place it right about there. Okay, so here they are. Cute, right? Okay, so that wraps up this class. I hope you've enjoyed the projects. Don't forget to leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.